A frequently asked question when running a supply to an hour building, such as a shed or summer house, is Do I need to install an earth electrode? Do I need to make it a TT earthing system? So the first thing to establish is, are there any extraneous conductive parts within the outbuilding? Uh, this is key to our decision in looking at the options open to us. In this first scenario, it's straightforward. When no extraneous metal is present, we can uh, run the supply to the outbuilding with just a normal provision for earthing. Second scenario, where extraneous metal is present, we have a choice. We can make the CPC equivalent to a 10 millimeter squared CSA, which would comply with the requirement for a minimum CSA of a bonding conductor. Or we can make the outbuilding a TT system by installing an earth electrode. If the dwelling is a TT system, any bonding would be done locally within the outbuilding. If design parameters permit, a supply could, for instance, be spurred off a ring circuit. The same considerations would apply regarding the choice of earthing and bonding. I.e., if extraneous metal is present, a 10 mm squared bonding conductor would be required. So the key points are, is extraneous metal present? And what earthing system is present within the dwelling? When deciding if uh, a 10 mm squared CSA protective conductor or an earth electrode needs installing, it comes down to cost and convenience. Other regulations need to be applied regarding design, installation and inspection and testing. Hope you found this useful. Click the subscribe button and remember to like if you did. Leave a comment or email for any ideas on future videos.